Today we're going to go ahead and take a look at the second part of our charades game app. And that comes in activity 2.3, playing with lists. Our app objective for this activity is to learn how to create a list of actions that can be stored in what we call our model layer, or otherwise known as a data layer. We're going to access that information when we click on the word phrase button and call a random list item to appear. We'll also learn how to add a sensor, which is known as an accelerometer, which is used to detect the shaking motion. When the accelerometer detects that the device is being shaken, we're going to increment the score to signal that a correct answer has been given. At the end of our video tutorial, we're going to take a look at a housekeeping challenge, which is going to help us to clean up some minor behaviors in our app that need to be fixed. So before jumping off into our app and actually starting to create our list, there's a few things we need to understand about our list, or in this case, we're going to talk about our model layer. So at this point, you've learned about two different layers, the view layer, which is where the app and the user can see and interact with. This is also known as your designer view or your user interface. We've also learned a lot about the control layer. And this is the part of the app or the layer of the app that contains all the program that tells the app how to behave. We know this to be the block view. What we're going to look at today is our third layer, which is our model layer, sometimes otherwise called as your data layer. This data layer or model layer can contain the data entered and used in the app. This can be data from a list. It can be entered by a user or it can even be data that has been gathered from a sensor. So in order to understand our lists, we have to understand the two different types of lists that we can use when designing an app. What we have to remember is that a list is any type of ordered collection of data elements that can be stored and accessed within our program. Today, we're gonna to be using a list that is known as a static list. Static lists contain preset data within the app's program. This data cannot change while the app is running. We are going to be creating a data list of different actions that our user can perform during our charades game. A dynamic list, which we'll be doing in a later activity, contains data that the user can actually enter during runtime. Both types of these lists contain a series of data items in a specific order. This is known as the position of the items or its index. So an example of a static list and their index. Here we've created a list of the days of the week. So we can see that we have Sunday through Saturday listed on our screen. The index is the position of each data item. So in this case, Sunday has an index of one, Monday has an index of two, Tuesday has an index of three, and so on. You do have the ability to access any data from the list if you know the actual index number. So in this case, if we take a look at Thursday, we would need to be able to know which index Thursday is if we were able to call it. So in our program, if we were to call index five, what we would see is that Thursday would be returned to us. This will be true for any other of the actual days of the week or any of our list items or any list that you have actually created. The next part of this activity is going to be learning how to create our list. And we're going to take a look at that in our next video tutorial on creating the actual specific actions that will be used in our Charade Games app. 